Welcome back to NewsR. As we've been telling you for weeks right here, the situation in Japan at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant is going from bad to worse, and now potentially to catastrophic. And now the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, the people in charge of all nuclear activity in the United States who have had access to these plants, they agree with us. They're extremely concerned in a report that was leaked to the New York Times today about further explosions caused by hydrogen and oxygen mixing. They're concerned about the amount of water that's being trapped inside these reactors that is making the entire plant unstable. And if there's another earthquake or another tremor, could really destabilize the entire infrastructure there. And they're very concerned about what will happen to all this radioactive water that has been pumped into these reactors to keep them cool and stable. There's real concern that those will contaminate the oceans for many years to come. This is the leak at reactor number two that everyone was so happy about yesterday that it was plugged. But in reality, this is just one quick small fix to what is a much bigger problem. We're hearing that reactor number two is completely molten at the bottom. So as they keep pumping water into the plant, it's just simply leaking into the tunnels below. And what do you do with that water once it's been contaminated? Here's an expert talking to Russia today. You know, the, the problem is that um, the, the amount of water is so astronomical and it's so tainted that as they begin to clean the water, they're going to get the filters will become so radioactive, it will be very difficult to approach the filters. So, um, you know, the problem becomes one of um, uh, keeping it in tanks and this stuff will stay radioactive for 300 years. So they're between a rock and a hard place and it's heartening to know that the uh, that the Russians have that capability to, uh, to, to clean this water. But it, it's still not going to be easy. So, uh, 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 and now to make matters worse, reactors number five and six are becoming a big concern. That's because water has damaged the cooling systems there. It could mean we're going to see further explosions in these two reactors that haven't been a concern up to now. And across the United States and the world and of course in Japan, there is enormous concern about the food supply and what's going to happen to the fish swimming in the oceans. Here's Martin Savage of CNN. Right. The fishermen are just the, the latest of, of those who are furious at TEPCO. I mean, we have the farmers and those that work on the land and how their lives have been disrupted, their livelihoods changed. Now, with the fishermen, it is the same thing. The Fisheries Association today filed formal protest with TEPCO. They are absolutely livid over the release of this low-level radioactive water that is going out over several days. They say, look, you're killing our livelihood, literally. No one not even in Japan is going to want to be eating seafood and especially outside of Japan many countries aren't going to import it and remember they were already suffering as thousands of their boats had either been ruined or damaged as a result of the tsunami they say this is just the finishing thing and of course it's not just the fishermen in Japan that are concerned tuna for example swim at 50 miles per hour if a tuna is swimming off the coast of Japan right now it'll be in the United States waters by the summer. So huge concern all around. At the same time, we're hearing that there is an increased amount of radioactivity in rainwater and in tap water in parts of the country. And then there's this. Look what's happening in the atmosphere. This blue area here that you're seeing in this purple haze, that's all radioactive material in the atmosphere. The blue, by the way, signifies elevated levels, as elevated as they are in Tokyo right now. We're also just hearing, and this is breaking at the moment, that the United States is preparing for a full meltdown and they're doing so by sending the US Marine Corps 155 specialists in a nuclear activity and high radioactivity are being sent to Japan to handle any further explosions. We'll continue to monitor the situation which is getting very dire at Fukushima. You're watching NewsR.